Hit the goddamn bell. That's it for that one. That's it. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Oh, hello, Beard. It's your boy, Big Beard B, and we're back for another edition of Big Beard Business. So, I did a video last year talking about how to avoid being scammed, tricked, and finessed out of your hard earned money when purchasing fragrances. Therefore, today I figured I'd provide you with a few additional tips to help you in your fragrance collecting journey. These tips are in no particular order and can help you no matter what stage of your fragrance journey you're in. So, without any further ado, let's hop into the list. The first tip on my list is a simple one and as my guy Manny from Cascade Scents always says, where are your fragrances? I know this sounds simple, but as a collector, I'm always trying something new. I always have new fragrances coming in. There's always something different to wear. There's always something new. I'm forcing myself to wear fragrances with these weekly fragrance rotation videos. If you guys haven't seen it yet, make sure you check it out. But you know, I always want to make sure I have something different, new content for you guys every week. So therefore, I have to reach for things that I typically haven't reached for as much as I would like. Unless you have a juice that's super rare or super vintage, you probably should be reaching for it. Remember, fragrances are made for wearing, not for storing under your bathroom sink for years upon years. Be sure to take some time to rediscover your fragrances. I mean, you might fall in love with one all over again. The second tip really goes hand in hand with the first one, and this one is buy what you like. I mean, I think this this one is easier said than done, but do not fall for the hype of new releases. I know it gets hard with everyone talking about the new release, like, hey, I got this, I got this, but unless you like it, don't buy it. Save it for something that you truly been liking, you truly been eyeing, and it's something that speaks to you. Don't be that guy that buys every fragrance just to say that you have every fragrance, because at the end of the day, no one cares. The third tip I have for you guys today is to look out for scammers. There are plenty of ways out there to determine if you are purchasing a fake fragrance, if you suspect, you know, someone's trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Don't be that guy that just says, B, I had to have it. You know, where else can I get a bottle of Aventus for 99 cents? 99 cents might not be a bad purchase, but $99, you know what I'm saying? If you're buying fragrances from private sellers online, I mean, you should probably have them send you a lot of detailed pictures. I mean, hell, in this day and age, you should, you know, you could probably ask for a video. I mean, that's not too hard to do. Again, as I've stated in past videos, feel free to use Facebook forms or even, you know, YouTube sale and swap threads like the one that Mac 40 hosts every month. Um, my makers, you know, they host these things, man. Go through, check them out, see if you can find something that you like. And if you have any questions, Questions, then these guys should be able to answer, you know, about the people in their communities. And even if you don't use these two, most of the YouTubers I know take pride in their personal brand and therefore should or could be able to provide you with some information on some of the people within their Facebook forms, their Facebook groups, their moderators, etc., and all these different communities that they have to let you know if you're buying the real deal from the real person. Here's a pro tip, as I've stated numerous times in the past, if you are doing a PayPal transaction, never, ever, 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 send it as friends and family. Remember, if you send it as friends and family or as a gift, it makes you ineligible for PayPal's buyer protection. That is when they refund you, man. They look out for you, they on your side to help you fight the scammers. But if you do not do that, then, you lost in the sauce, baby. And look, I get it. Not everyone out there is looking to scam you, right? I get it. But things happen, man. Life happens. Where things happen where they might not be able to send you your fragrance no more, you know? You know, who knows? Their phone might get cut off and they can never reach you, <laughs> you know, to give you your money back. I don't know. I don't know if that would ever happen. But listen, things happen out there, man. People are good people, but sometimes life happens and they try to, you know, make little things and scams and things and they just try to get away with it. So protect yourself, you know, protect yourself at all times. Keep, keep going up. Protect yourself at all times. Use the, the PayPal buyer protection. This does um, sometimes have an additional cost to the buyer if the seller like wants to say, hey, you know, this typically will cost you $100, but because you're not sending it as a gift, then add a blank, blank, blank percentage on, then that's fine too, man. But it's not your responsibility and my personal opinion to cover those costs for the seller. You know, do what you will, but that's just my little tidbit. The fourth tip I have for you guys is to bring someone with you for a fragrance meetup. Look, I know fragrance meetups aren't like a really big thing, or maybe they are, but it does happen from time to time. If you're using Craigslist, Facebook, or any of these other, you know, fragrance forms, you might want to make sure that you're protected at all times. Once again, protect yourself, right? When you are looking to conduct 
business, especially business where it can, you know, money's involved. If you can't bring someone with you, make sure you are at very least meeting at a public place in broad daylight to make sure you're preventing robbery. You know, the fragrance game can get pretty expensive. When you're dealing with these niche fragrances specifically, you might wanna make sure, you know, you're taking an extra step, extra mile to make sure that you and your investments are protected. And the fifth and final tip that I have for you guys today is to prioritize and realize what's important. Trust me, from a guy that buys fragrances to produce content, it's imperative to understand how important it is to make smart buying decisions. I've talked about this before, but I feel like I have a duty and an obligation as a fragrance reviewer to make sure that you guys are making sound financial decisions. I personally wouldn't recommend that you purchase fragrances with credit cards or those store credit cards. Now listen, I've told a lot of people this, a lot of people haven't listened to me, but do what you will, that's just my two cents. If you have to wait two to three weeks or hell, even a month or so to purchase a fragrance, trust me, in most cases, it will still be there. If you have to choose between purchasing a fragrance and paying off a bill, then make sure you are making the right decision. All right, guys, so there you have it. Today's video was brought to you by the B Game Patreon team. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. These are things that I think will really help you guys out if you take heed to it. I'm your boy, Big B. B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back. Once again, hit the goddamn bell, 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 bell.